Hi there. This is Michael Buckoff from BetterToffelScores.com, and right now, let me ask you a question. You're walking on the sidewalk, you're walking down the street, you go up to somebody, you go, hey, how you doing? And the person says, it's not going to rain next Thursday. And you're like scratching your head, what the, you know, what does that mean? So obviously when you say, how are you, you expect the person to say, I'm fine, I'm not fine, but you want them to connect. The information, you want to make sure that the person who's, who, who you're speaking to is contributing to the conversation now. What does this mean to you? You'd be surprised how many times during the TOEFL writing, when you begin looking at paragraphs, one paragraph to the next, to the next, to the next, you look at the thesis, you look at the different topic sentences there, there's not a good connection. It's almost as bad as a conversational example that I gave you. So what do you do? You want to make sure you have a good specific thesis. It, it, it's kind of like a weather forecast. Your thesis statement can announce maybe the three or four things that you want to discuss in the essay. Make sure in the topic sentence of the next paragraph you restate or you use exactly one of the key terms from the thesis. That way when they say, hi, hey, how are you? You go, I'm fine. So your second paragraph says, uh, I'm fine. It directly connects back to a point that's made in your thesis. Now, each of the topic sentences of the different paragraphs need to connect back to the thesis statement. And you want to make sure that the, the, the details that, you're, that you use to support the points in the topic sentence are all unified. For example, let me give you several words and which of these words does not belong in the list. Apples, bananas, oranges, lemons, automobiles. Which one? Automobiles, am I right? So if you look in the paragraph and you see the automobile and you see the sentence discussing automobiles, that doesn't relate to the other examples of fruit that were given. So you need to omit that particular detail from that paragraph. So everything within the paragraph needs to be unified around a single whole. And there you have it. So let me ask you, how are you doing today?